Hey everyone, this is Will, and in this video, we're gonna continue our video series talking about Oracle for X series. And in particular, we're gonna talk about using the preset screen and how to create and save presets on our Mio XM. Now this applies to both the Mio XM, Mio XL. I just happen to be using the Mio XM uh, at the moment that's connected to my computer. Now presets is a really, really cool feature. Um, and one of the things I love in particular about these interfaces is the ability to uh, change my preset directly on the front of the interface. And so this is super, handy and helpful particularly if you're in a situation as a playback tech and you're sitting right next to your interface you can just reach over uh, and select whatever uh, preset that you want uh, and your preset can contain a lot of crazy MIDI routings and go from something that's very simple to very complex really really quickly so let's dive in and let's get started on the preset screen and it's worth mentioning uh, we can also do backup and restore presets and we'll cover that in a separate video here in just a moment so let's go into uh, our preset Preset menu here. So I'm going to click preset and to start, let's change which preset is currently loaded. Now I showed you, I can click on the front panel uh, to change the preset, but I can also do this uh, directly from Oracle for X series. So I could go to the load preset menu here and let's say I want to go to preset three. Okay. So I'm going to select preset three. It's going to give me a message here uh, to say, are you sure you want to do this? I'm going to click yes. And now let's show you on the front of the Mio XM here that we're now on preset three. So you could see, I can change directly from the front panel. Uh, I could change uh, from uh, Oracle for X series. I could also change, and we won't cover this in this video, uh, using my DAW and sending program changes directly to my interface. A lot of really cool, useful things to do there. Now let's look at saving a preset. Now I'm gonna go into my MIDI routings page here before I save a preset, and I'm just gonna do something crazy. Uh, so let's go here, host four, let's just do who knows what kind of MIDI routings we're coming up with. Uh, but again, this is a, another example of how this could be super beneficial. I'm going into this page here making crazy routings and in a click of one button, a button press on the front panel, uh, a program change from Ableton Live or whatever your doll is, uh, or changing the preset directly from Oracle for X series. I can go from very simple to very complex with the touch of a button, which is really great. So I've got my crazy MIDI routing going here. Let's go back to presets again. Let's save this. So I'm going to go to save preset as, and you'll see I have a couple different options. One, I have saved to all presets, which this is really beneficial if you, for instance, are going to make some sort of global change that you want to be applied to all your presets. On all your presets, you want uh, this input to go to that output. You want this source MIDI coming from this particular source to go to this destination. Um, that's a really helpful feature. But in particular, in this specific uh, instance, I want to save this to preset three. So I'm going to click preset three and I can enter a name here and let's call this uh, wild MIDI. Okay. And then we're going to hit save. And what's great, as soon as I hit save on that, let's take you back over to our Mio XM. You can see we're now on preset three. And so I was able to really quickly and really easily from Oracle for X series, create and save my preset, uh, change my preset, load my preset um, uh, to whatever I need. And there's a lot of flexibility there. And again, that preset feature uh, allows you to do some really uh, complex things very simply with the press of one button uh, very easily from your DAW, from the front panel, or from our cool for x series. Now, in our next video, we're going to take a look at uh, this final feature that we see on the screen here, Backup and Restore. Um, and, but to keep this video again short, we're going to leave this just to creating and saving presets. Now, if you have any questions about something that wasn't covered in this video about presets, again, uh, aside from Backup and Restore, because that'll be in our next video, make sure to contact and reach out to iConnectivity support. And you can do that by using the information in the description of this video. They'll I'll be more than happy to help and answer any specific questions about your specific setup or any questions about creating and saving presets. Thanks so much for watching this one. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.